Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Florida schools need your help. Districts across the state are facing critical staffing shortages. The Florida Education Association says there were nearly 9,000 openings in August and the numbers continue to rise. News Channel 8's Olivia Steen joins us from Hillsborough County with details. Teachers, bus drivers, custodians, and support staff. There's a large variety of positions that need to be filled as soon as possible. Some of our teachers are picking up classes during their during their planning period, or going over and beyond the number of students that they teach every single day. Managing the shortage is stressful. School district leaders say they are racing to find solutions to treat the crippling issue. Properly incentivizing our teachers, our starting pay in Hillsborough County is 46.9, so to be able to make certain it's attractive, We're working relentlessly to be able to market not only locally but throughout the state and nationally. Hillsborough County has 485 instructional vacancies, according to the Florida Education Association. Superintendent Addison Davis says the uptick in students coming back to district schools this year is forcing them to hire more. But in the same token, we do have hard to fill positions such as upper level math, upper level sciences at the same token being able to seek uh, teachers who are certified in special education. The FEA also reported Polk County has 198 instructional vacancies, Pasco with 133, Pinellas with 121. COVID may be accelerating some things, but the reality of it is it's the stress and the anxiety and quite honestly, the lack of respect uh, that teachers and staff have. President Andrew Sparr of the FEA says it's critical to dive deeper into all of these issues. We've got to address the support uh, for the people who work in our schools, but we also have to address pay and pay fairness, uh, equity around pay for our teachers and those uh, support staff who work in our public schools. Spar tells me it's going to take the help of district leaders, but also legislators in order to stop this decline. In Hillsborough County, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.